Good morning, Quadcopter101 here with another review of the WL Toys V686G FPV Quadcopter. Now, in my previous reviews, I noted that uh, the video is hard to see from this uh, screen in direct sunlight. So I've made a jury rigged sunscreen around here uh, so that I can cut out most of that uh, sunlight. Hopefully this will work. But what I want to do with, with today's flight is focus on the quality of the video that you get from this camera. This camera is 720p video. I, I, I would say its quality is about equivalent with a 808 keychain camera without the uh, wide angle lens, um, without the D lens. Um, it's, it's pretty darn good quality and that's what I want to demonstrate here today is uh, the quality of this video. I'm going to fly with the camera on throughout the flight to show that. Um, so again, today's flight we're going to look at whether this sunscreen works for me, whether I can see this, uh, the screen in daylight and also the quality of the video throughout the flight. So let's go into flight. I'm going to hook up this battery right now. Plug it in. Push the wires back in, close the door. Set that as the base heading for the headless mode in case we need it. Turning on my receiver. And yes, I can see something in there if I put my if I put it right up to my face. I don't know if you can see that folks, but you can actually see the screen. So yes, this will work, <laughs> this jury rig thing that I did here. Turning on the transmitter. And it's bound, and I want to turn on the camera, the video camera. And we got the camera on, and we're going to keep that on throughout the flight. Oh, nice takeoff on that thing. And I'm putting up the screen right to my eyes so I can see this, and I can't see it. But I'm, again, I'm really interested in the quality of the video from this quadcopter. There's a bit of a wind up there. I'm going to 60% mode. Going upwind into the wind. And then hovering. And then doing a rotate. Whoa, not that fast to rotate. Slow down that rotate. Nice slow rotate is what I want to do. To show you this video. It's a very good video on this quadcopter. At least I'm impressed with it. Forward pitch. Okay, let's take it downfield and do a, a, a low altitude pass by me. Banking right. A little more throttle. It flies very well. Seems to have reasonable range. I'm guessing about well over 100 meters it can do. I don't know what its max range is. I'm going to have to go out in the desert to do that. I do have my wife here, but she doesn't want to go out in the desert today. <laughs> she said, no, let's go to the field. Climbs nicely. See how it's climbing, folks? Or those of you watching on the video. Very nice climber. Going upwind again. Uh, probably about 300 feet up or so. Going to hover. Again, slow rotate. And coming back down. Reducing throttle before I break 400 feet. Very good range, actually. I'm impressed with the range on this quadcopter, and with the camera itself, this is going to be a great flyer for me <laughs> for doing aerial video. 
I hope that video is coming out. We'll see in the post edit. Flying overhead. The lights are still green, or still not blinking yet, so flight time is very good with it. I'm kind of pleased with this flyer. I'm going to go up to 80% because uh, the wind is picking up a bit up at the altitude it's at. Let's do a high speed pass by my position. <laughs> that's, that's certainly high speed. And the V686G! Great quadcopter. Thumbnail pick. Thumbnail pick. <laughs> Going into the wind. Lights are still good. Got a lot of flight time with this. I like that. Can I make it to the pylon, I wonder? Let's go. That's 120, 130 meters. Can I make it to the pylon? We'll find out. I got the video on, folks. Am I past the pylon now? I think I'm past the pylon. I'm going to start a turn. It looks like I'm past the pylon. I hope I was past the pylon. If it is, that was 130 meters at least. I'll, I'll confirm that on Google Maps. I'm just letting the wind blow it back. I'm going to walk up to it as it's coming by here. This is the wind moving it. I, hands off flying. How's my lights? My lights are still steady. A lot of flight time with this quadcopter. You know, I've been wondering if the V686J model, the one with the two megapixel camera, if, if it has the same quality camera as this one, that would be a hell of a buy. Maybe I should do a review on that if I can get a copy of that, because I really like the camera on this one. I, I, I'm not a big fan. I'm looking in my, you know, I'm out there at about 100 meters right now. I'm looking at my screen. I do still have reception on the uh, FPV screen. Surprisingly enough, I'm looking at the FPV screen, and yeah, I'm, at, I'm right at the edge of the field. I'm going right over the pylon right now, based on my, so, that's 130 meters, folks. <laughs> I can see where I'm at on the FPV screen today with the sunshade. That's good. How's my lights? Still strong. Okay, I'm going to use the FPV screen to try to go around this pylon. Here comes the pylon. I'm looking at the screen and going by the pylon. Now, it works. <laughs> I'm kind of giddy because uh, my sunscreen finally works. I can actually see what I'm looking at. And now I'm getting kind of impressed with this quadcopter. So all you got to do, folks, is make that little sunscreen out of a piece of cardboard, and this makes this much better flyer. And I can see right now the lights are still good. Amazing range on this thing. Okay, I'm going down to the edge of the field using the FPV. Getting close to the edge of the field. Still within reception. Really good range on this FPV. It's getting a little scratchy. Okay, turning back, turning back. Flying F totally FPV right now, folks. Where am I at? There I am. The lights are still good on this thing. Hey, this FPV is fun. <laughs> now that it works with the with the sunshade, let me try that again. There's my wife and dog. Whoa, 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 whoa! That might be my battery. Is that my battery? I still got a steady light on this. I'm surprised. I, I think I entered vortex ring state there. This is what happened. I still can see through my uh, camera. So going back to FPV again. Hey, by the way, is that camera recording? 
<laughs> Seems like a steady light. Still got more flight time on this. Yeah, that was just a little bit of, uh, this can't enter vortex ring state, so be aware of that, folks. Flying back to the pylon. Where are you, pylon? I see you. Using the FPV. Wind's picking up a bit. Using FPV to fly to the pylon. Going over the pylon, that's 130 meters away. And then going into hover. Uh, vortex ring state again. So yes, this can enter vortex ring state, so be aware of that, folks. I'm bringing it back now. I think I'm losing power here. And <laughs> that's the end of the flight. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera. make sure that that camera went off so that's the flight time you get with this which is pretty darn impressive the video from this is very impressive the FPV is very impressive once you put uh, this sunscreen on and notice this little flap I put here to adjust it a little further well I guess I don't really need that I just put my eyes up against it but that that blocks out a lot of the sunlight so I can actually see and the camera's back to full blue Okay, and that's the end of the flight. So that's the another review of the V686G. Now I am really impressed with this. Okay, I really like the video quality. I really love the range of this thing. It's a very good range. I was I was out there close to 150 meters. So uh, the advertised range of this, I guess, is 150 meters. They're not lying about it. <laughs> you know, there's no Wi-Fi around here to give any problems with reception. Um, the video quality was good was very good actually from the FPV. It would get a little scratchy there out at 150 meters, but I, I still uh, can maintain control of the quadcopter and easily see what the quadcopter was seeing again with this little sunscreen on here. So very good quadcopter. I'm impressed with it. Okay, Quadcopter 101. I hope you enjoyed this review. Quadcopter 101, signing out.